Hi guys, it's Charlie from Chinook Pomskis, and I thought I would do a video today on all the puppy essentials and sort of everything you need when you bring home a new puppy. First, I'll talk about crates. There are wire crates like this one here that Scout's chilling out in and um, Raphael or Akiva is chewing on. And then there's these sort of plastic crates that are more enclosed and have metal doors. So we use these kinds of crates when we ship our puppies home, and they're great for that. They're great for travel. Um, they're great when we're, you know, taking our puppies to the vet or wherever. But when it comes to just being in a crate in our house and crate training, we much prefer these. Again, we mostly have huskies, so one of my biggest concerns is making sure that the puppies stay cool and they don't overheat. Huskies like to be cool. And so this just has a lot more airflow and less likely they're going to have issues that way. The other thing is huskies are big chewers. They have strong jaws and they have, you know, a good scissor bite. So I've heard of huskies chewing through plastic crates like this. Um, we haven't had that issue with our puppies being huge chewers, but it's something to consider. Where this would be a lot harder for them to escape through or to get out of. So the next question I usually get asked then is, after the crate, is what kind of bed should we get for them? Um, and you can get sort of all kinds of beds out there on the market. With our Huskies, we found that whatever kind of bed we got, they hardly used them because they prefer to lay either on the leather couch or else on the floor because it's cooler. Um, so if you're looking for a bed for a Pomsky, I would suggest one that isn't super warm and fluffy. Um, there's some ones that Kong makes that are sort of like crate liners that are... Um, almost like a canvas material, like they're not super fuzzy and warm. Uh, my girls like those better than other things. With our puppies, we usually just put blankets in there and that's what they have before they go home. So that's sort of what they're used to, is just sort of laying on blankets. Then I can change them out frequently and wash them because before puppies go home, they're still often having accidents or who knows what, so then I can keep them clean. But you can sort of see what your dog prefers, but typically I find that the dogs want to sleep where they're cool and not too warm. So um, you could even just do like a blanket in there and see if they use it or if they sort of kick it to the side when they sleep. So the next thing your puppy will need is course, of course is a food and a water bowl. We recommend using metal bowls. Um, I find with puppies, especially when they're teething, they'll chew on bowls if they're plastic. And then wherever they leave little bite marks, you can get bacteria growing in there and it's harder to clean and make sure that they're really clean. So I like metal bowls for that reason. Um, and then I could just throw them in the dishwasher. I don't have to worry about that. Um, you want to make sure that you have a collar and a leash, of course. Um, our puppies all come home with a collar and a leash. So that way, if there's an issue when they're being shipped, they have a leash so they can take them out if they need to. Or if um, people are driving home and they need to stop because they're further away, they have a collar and a leash that can take the puppy to potty. Um, but we, the collars we give them won't fit them for all that long because the puppies are growing quickly and these are just sort of teeny, teeny collars. Um, so once they get home, you'll, you know, in the next little while, you want to get them another collar. Um, people ask us too about harnesses, and harnesses are great too. You can sort of choose what you like, what works best for you. We don't use harnesses in on our dogs in the house. We don't keep them on because my dogs would use them to drag each other around and wrestle with them. When we walk Scout, I do often use a harness with them, and I did as a puppy. Um, with our Huskies, we don't use harnesses with them, and we never have. We've always used collars. Because we sled with our Huskies, the harnesses go on them when they're pulling, when they're sledding. Um, if we use a harness other times, they get the idea of, oh, it's time to pull. So we don't use a harness with our Huskies. We do, like I said, with Scout our Pomeranian. Um, with Pomsies, you could go either way. So it's sort of what your preference is um, and what you find works best for you and if they're pulling or if they're not or what you're trying to work on. But we um, do send them all home with a little collar. It's also a good idea to have... Um, Something for the dog to be pottying on, especially in the first little while. It depends on what you want to do. I always think it's best to start sort of how you want to go. So although we do have plastic pee pads, like the disposable ones, we don't use them for our puppies. I use them when my girls are delivering to help clean up mess quickly. And I send them home in our puppy bags when they go home so that you have the option of, you know, keeping things clean. 
um, on the sort of the trip home, but we don't use them. What we use here is their hospital pads, like the kind you would have on a bed to absorb mess at a hospital. So I use them because they're fabrics, so they're washable. They have like a sort of a plasticky side on the back that's waterproof or water resistant, and then the top's absorbent. So then I use them and then we just throw them in the wash. And so we use them, one in the kennel, like or in the whelping box before they um, come down here. And then when they first come down, I leave one in my living room right next to where the puppies are so they can get the idea, okay, this is where I potty. Because dogs will go naturally where it's absorbent. So if you've got carpet, they'll use carpet. Um, like I have a carpet in my front entryway. I replace it after every litter because the puppies use it. And I'll clean it up afterwards, but it's hard to really clean it all the way down, um, especially if I haven't seen them potty there because when they're really little, uh, Chinook will clean up any mess that they make, or the mom, whatever mom there is, will lick up their pee. So then I don't always know because there isn't necessarily a puddle. Um, so you want to make sure they have like an area that's sort of absorbent so they know that's where to go. So once, with our pads, we just move them then closer and closer to the door, and then we teach our dogs to use the doggy door. So now our puppies go in and out, and they potty on their own outside, um, and then they will use the pee pad that's back there as well um, if they don't make it outside in time. So I recommend sort of just doing whatever you want to do um, in that regard. If you want your puppy to be peeing inside on a pee pad, like if you want a pee pad trained, then use pee pads. If you want it trained to be outside, I would just work on taking it outside whenever they wake up and, um, and they can, you know, have something maybe by the door so they'll get the idea of this is where, this is where I go to go potty. And then if you want, you can even move that pad or that towel or that whatever that you use outside once they get the idea of it. So they get, oh yes, I go potty outside. Um, but we, that's part of the reason why we create our puppies at night and we recommend crate training is because puppies usually won't go potty where they sleep. And so then you're not having accidents all over the place. Another thing you'll need when your puppies come home is um, toys and especially chew toys because puppies love to chew. We try to make sure we have a good variety of different textures for our dogs to chew on. These puppies in particular are really loving the rope toys right now, so we have lots of ones like this. Um, but they also like these plastic ones. They find these ones fun to sort of chase and to see. This one squeaks, but also it lights up. Um, we have balls of all different sizes. This is just some of our toys. We have, you know, ones like this here, they're sort of a canvasy material. We have some soft toys as well. Um, this one here is sort of like a, I don't know, like an indestructible soft toy, they say, but clearly it's being destroyed uh, by my huskies. But they, um, I also do soft toys with the puppies. We don't leave them out, though, because my big dogs like to, to destroy soft toys, and we'll do it pretty quickly. So we only bring them out when it's just the puppies playing. The idea, though, is to make sure you have enough variety that, um, there's different things for the dog to chew all the time and to keep him interested. With um, our puppies too, I find that if they're chewing on certain objects a lot, I get them toys um, to replace sort of that that chewing need. So if your dogs are always chewing on you know socks or fabric or, or clothes, um, and you don't want them doing that, then get them some soft toys. If you find your dogs are chewing on like your wooden chairs or your baseboards or whatever then get them some harder toys. You do want to be careful about how hard they are. You don't want toys that are so hard that they're going to break their teeth. It's a little bit less of a concern with palm skis or huskies because they do have such a good strong jaw and a good, um, um, a good strong bite, but something to consider if you're getting a different breed of dog or have other dogs. Um, the other thing too is you don't want something that's super cheap. Like I don't recommend getting, you know, I don't know, something if you wouldn't let your babies put it in their mouth, I wouldn't recommend it for your dogs because it is something that they're going to be chewing on. So like the dollar store sometimes has some great options, but sometimes it has ones that I would not give to my dog. It's the same thing too when you go to any pet store. I just sort of look for ones that I feel like are good quality that are, you know, going to last. They're not going to have little pieces. And then watch for toys that get broken because as they get broken, you just want to throw them away um, so they're not biting off pieces or they're not having an issue with them and that's true for sort of all things that you have with your dog whether it's beds whether it's um you know toys whatever it is dogs puppies put everything in their mouth they chew on everything and you don't want them eating things that they shouldn't so another thing to think about when you're 
um, getting all your stuff for bringing home your puppy is things like brushes and nail clippers and everything like that. There's a bunch of different kinds in the market. Again, with our puppies, we send home the kind of brush we've been using with them. And with our baby puppies, when they're little, I use um, human nail clippers, actually, because I have because their paws are tiny. Um, and then when they get a little older, um, I'll switch over to the other, like a dog clipper. And there's about, there's three or four different kinds. You can sort of find what you like and use what works good for you. But those things aren't so much of a rush for the first bit home. You if you guys have any other questions about particular products or other things that I didn't mention, um, feel free to post your questions in the comments and I will answer them. Um, just quickly, we send home a few of these things um, for our puppies when they go home. So for those of you getting a puppy, they all come home with a nice bag that um, says Chinook Pomsky's on it. They're very cute. Um, and we send home a brush, like I said, a couple of toys, food. Um, we send home... Uh, I can't remember a couple other things, but I will post a, a picture shortly of the bags because I'm just starting to do them all up so you can see sort of what comes home already. But again, if you have questions about any of these things, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. And if not, I'll talk to you guys soon.